Ann Gillian was a Hollywood actress who has starred in a number of Broadway plays and TV shows. In March of 1985, while exercising in a health club in San Fernando Valley, California, Ann noticed a growth on her body. She was shocked and frightened, correctly suspecting that it was cancerous. The next day before going to the doctor, she stopped at her church, St. Francis de Sales. Over its doors was an inscription that Anne had noticed many times, but she had never ta taken the time to read it. Now she did. It read, and I quote, the same everlasting Father who cares for you today will take care of you tomorrow and every day. Either he will shield you from suffering or he will give you unfailing strength to bear it. Be at peace then and put aside all anxious thoughts and imaginations. Those words seemed to be addressed right at her. She went inside knelt before the Blessed Sacrament, and prayed for the grace to take to heart the words she had just read. As she prayed, a deep inner, free, uh, inner peace and calm came over her. Two weeks later, Anne underwent successful surgery for a double mastectomy. The radiant trust in God and peace of mind that she maintained before and after the surgery was widely reported in the news. She became an instant inspiration to thousands of cancer patients the world over. Now that story of Anne Gillian is a beautiful illustration of a person who took to heart the words of Jesus in today's gospel. Recall these words. They occur just as Jesus is going to Jairus' house to heal his sick daughter. Someone runs up to Jairus and says, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Before Jairus can say anything, Jesus turns to him and says, Do not be afraid, just have faith. This is the same message of faith and trust that Jesus spoke to Angelian through the words written over the doorway of her parish church. It is the same message of faith and trust that Jesus speaks to us through the words of the gospel today. Each of us in this church has some problem, some worry, some concern, some cross to bear, be it large or small. Perhaps, like Anne, we may be suffering from a health problem that threatens our peace of mind. Perhaps, like Jairus, we may have someone in our family who is seriously ill. Perhaps, like Jairus, his daughter, we are a young person suffering from some unfortunate situation, like an unhappy home, or just plain concern about the future. Each of us has some troublesome issue, great or small, in our lives that threatens our peace of mind. And each of us, Jesus is saying to us, do not be afraid, just have faith. To each of us, Jesus says what he said to Angelian through the words of a parish church. Same everlasting Father who cares for you today will take care of you tomorrow and every day. Either he will shield you from suffering or he will give you unfailing strength to bear it. Be at peace then. Put aside all anxious thoughts and imaginations. Taking a closer look at those words, we see they promise something really important. They promise that God, who is a loving and caring Father, will either protect us from suffering or will give us the power to bear it when it comes. They tell us that God may not remove some cross that we're now carrying, but that God will give us the strength to keep carrying it. We say that 
God may not erase some doubt that we have, uh, that we are now experiencing, but God will give us the strength and courage to keep walking in the dark. Now, this raises some questions. What do we do when we find it difficult to put faith in God? What do we do when we find it hard to be calm, as Anne was? What do we do if we find it hard to trust, as Jairus did? The answer to those questions is found in the story of Angelion. By the way, she's 74 today. Not this day, but these days. We should do as she did. We should kneel before the Blessed Sacrament and pray for the grace to trust that God loves us more than we love ourselves and knows us better than we can ever possibly know ourselves. We should kneel before the Blessed Sacrament and pray for the grace to trust that God, our loving Father, is always at our side. If we do this with childlike trust, as Jairus did and Ann did, we too will experience the same inner peace that they did. Two will experience the same inner calm and trust that they did. We too will experience that God is always at our side, ready to do whatever is best for us. Here's a little something you might want to keep in mind on a daily basis. We say it lots of times a day. It comes from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 13, it goes like this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can honestly attest to the fact that, I guess that perhaps one of the darkest moments in my life that little mantra, if you want, came in really handy. I said it a lot. I believed it a lot. It really helps. It's because God is good. And all the time, 